All right, everybody, I'm going to do my best to go through the offensive packet for the 2-3-1 Maryland offense. Um, just to reiterate here, I would like to make sure everybody knows, because some of you guys are new, if I call out a, a 1, this is the 1 area. This is a 2 dodge. This is a 3 dodge. This is a 4 dodge. A 5 dodge is right in the middle for middies, and this is just an X dodge. Okay, so that's how we label the fields. If I call four, I mean we're attacking this side of the field. If I call two, we're attacking, I mean a one, we're attacking this side of the field. All right? So moving forward, let's start with just basic off-ball movement in a two, three, one. Two being two middies, one on the crease, and three attackmen surrounding the cage, left, right, and X. If an attackman uh, throws the ball to a middie, he clears through the crease and behind. So follow the arrows. He would be coming here and behind. A2 just fills. I want my lefties here at X to drive to their left. I want my righties at X to drive to the right. So we want basic off ball movement. Same thing on the left side or on the right side. If he passed the ball there, he can clear through and behind. And then the X guy would clear around. Okay, so everybody should have a packet that's very similar to this. Uh, Again, somebody asked, it was a good question. You don't do this every single time, especially if we're setting up a play. If I call a two or a four, you know, well, we don't want to go through our triangles with the basic off ball movement part because we're trying to set up a play. So you're not going through your triangles every single time, but you do want to go through them often. For midfielders, your triangle is uh, this. It's on this page. Sorry, let me go ahead and erase all this stuff. For midfielders, if you throw the ball to an attackman, you cut to the crease and pop out. So going through this whole thing, um, middies, I throw the ball to A2. I'm going to give and go, so I'm going to cut to the crease. This guy's going to backpedal because he doesn't want to take his eye off the ball. Some of you guys are still turning. This guy's filling. So there's your triangle for the middies. That's basic off-ball movement. You don't do it every time, but you do it. Okay, so on a four dodge, this is the triangles. This is kind of, these are the triangles that we would operate through, um, getting through and all that. A four dodge is this guy dodging. If you just follow the arrows, he's going to be coming down the alley just like the arrow shows to his right. This guy, we call this a C curl. He's going to form a C and come to the opposite side of the pipe, this pipe right here, above about eight yards above the crease. A2 is going to go into the crease and stay there. A1 is going to come around and fill like the arrow shows. A3 is going to come behind for a pass from A1. M2 is going to come over here to the middle of the field where it shows right in here. So if this guy wants to roll back and hit M2, he can. Remember, this is just a blueprint, so this isn't set in stone. If something happens in a game, and you need to divert from where all these blue lines are to make a goal opportunity, and then you take that opportunity. That's where athleticism comes and IQ comes. All right, so with all that said, let's erase these lines and just go through it. So as M1 is dodging down the alley, hitting that top foot, coming at an angle, coming down the alley, A3 and A2, everybody's moving at the same time, but he's going to see curl and he's going to come through. He can keep going. Okay, M2 is going to come to the middle of the field. This guy's going to rotate around for passing lane. He's going to rotate here. You don't want to rotate too far down because if the ball gets moved from A1 to A2, A3, he would have to dodge far to get up field. However, if you plant yourself A3 kind of right around here and the ball moves from M1 to A1, A1 to you, you have a shorter distance to drive upfield. Okay? So that's the redodge that we're probably going to be looking for. There's always the opportunity for M1 to roll back and move the ball to M2, who then would dodge down the left side of the field. Okay? Crease, what do you do? Drew Miller said it very well. At practice one night, you guys can play a two game and set picks for each other. Just realize, regardless, if M1 throws the ball to A1 and A1 gets it, who then moves the ball to A3, you guys should already be shifting to the other side of the field over here. 
to create a lane for A3 to drive. You don't want to be over here still, so you're constantly kind of far and away. Again, this would be a great opportunity for M1, M3 to set a pick, you to come off the pick, you to follow the pick down, things like that. All right, so that's a four dodge. A three dodge is the same thing on the other side. M1 is going to try to drive off that top foot. Bam, come down the left alley. If you can, you can roll back if you're righty and try to set up your shot there. A3, you're getting through. You're clearing sides for M1. M3 is C curling. So it's here. Clear through. Follow. Come down. Come over. So he has the option, which is what I'd really rather the first option be, which would be pass to attack and pass to attack and then the dodge. Because our attackmen are the ones that are doing primarily a lot of the scoring, so we want to get the ball in their hands. All right. Moving on, a two dodge. Okay. That's when we're setting up with an attackman. He gets the ball, he starts dodging. Okay. So, A1, you want to line up on this side of the field, what I mean by this side of the field, if this is the half side, if this is the mark that marks halfway, you want to be on the opposite side because that makes your defender have to come probably to this side of the field. And if he doesn't, and if your defender stays, let's say right here, playing you here, then as he dodges, he should move the ball to you right away because that defender's side can have a lot of ground to make up. That makes sense to everybody. All right. So let's look at the other players. Middies, you're really screwing this up lately. The crease midi pops out. Now, if he starts dodging, this is the IQ part, and your guy slides immediately, then just go to the cage and let it get, get a little pass there, and then you shoot and score. That's fine. I understand that. I respect that. I want you to do that. However, your mission, your play on this is to come out here as an outlet. Go early. You know, we call, you know, Ryan Haig, go early, get your man out. This guy goes to the crease. This guy goes to the middle of the field. Okay? So, far diagonal guy, which was M3 in this case, he cuts to the crease. The adjacent guy that was adjacent to A2, he cuts to the middle. And the guy that was on the crease pops out same side. A1 and A3, you're just switching. But you've got to switch with a purpose. So you're going to, A1, you're going to kind of come around and see if he can get open right there. Might be your guy trying to coma. If not, he's going to backpedal to that here. A3, you're going to go to the cage like you want to be a threat as he's taking the ball to the cage. And if it's not there, you pop behind as an outlet to A2. Okay? Attackman, you have the option at that point then to throw it to one of two people. You can move the ball to this attackman who would drive hard and try to get a two-on-one game with this guy. Okay? Or you could move the ball to him. In return, you'd move the ball to M1, and M1, you would drive hard to the left side of the field. So you have two options there. In every play, if you think about it, there are two outlets for you, a midi and an attacker. A one dodge is the same thing. I'm not going to go over this too long, but basically as you dodge hard upfield, crease guy pops out. Let's erase all this stuff. Okay. As M1, as A1 goes, you go early, you go center, and you're coming in here trying to find the shooting lane. You two guys cut with a purpose, go behind. You're switching. Come out. Are you there? If not, pop out. All right. Swivel. That's our that's our sweep play because it starts with an S. Remember, swivel. We're not starting here and making a big crescent moon or a banana, as Max Galasso likes to say. We're driving, selling this alley dodge, but not going down the alley. We're coming down to the left. We're sweeping. Okay? So we want to clear out that attackman side that we're sweeping to. This is hard for the attackman to follow, it seems like, a little bit. So M3, you're clearing just here. M1, you're going hard and around. You clear to the crease and stay. You curl, C curl, and stay. A1, you're going to, swoop. You're going to bring around, and you're going to come around. Number, you don't want to get too deep. You want to get right about there so that as the ball, if the ball has to move, it's a pass, pass, dodge right away. You want to be close to the cage. Okay? That's a swivel. It works either side of the field. Rutgers, it's a right. That's why we say Rutgers, right. Starts with R. Pick play for our attackman. 
So if you think about it, we just go through the philosophy of our offense, which is if he's going to his right, that means he's coming out to the same side. Far diagonal cuts two. M1 cuts to the center. Okay. Um, A2, you got to be smart here. So let's talk about this. Okay. So let's play this out like it would. So erase everything and start kind of over. All right. M3 was in the crease high. You guys, MIDI, sometimes you're too low. You want to bring your guy high and away. So as A1 sets the pick right here at X, it's here, up field. Up field, not out. Up field. Unless you get attacked, then you drift out and move the ball to M3. So we're driving off the pick. He went early. He's center. He's here, cutting to the crease. Please listen. He's going to roll. At this point, A3 has two options. Three, to score. Boom. Ball lower corner. He can outlet to him. He would outlet to him. He would dodge to the right quickly. Right? Correct? Or you can roll back and hit A1. So he rolls back. You've got a two game there. You move the ball on. At that point, A2, you got to get the heck out of there. Go to the crease, play a two on one game with him, but give him that alley to dodge upfield. Okay, we have good attackmen. We have good left handers. All three lefties are really good lefties that can score anytime they touch the ball there. So clear that space and let them go. Loyal is the same thing, only on the left side. So you have your notes in front of you, hopefully, if you're watching this video. All you're doing is A2 setting the pick, A3 is getting your shooting on. You come off the pick, drive upfield, you're out early as an outlet for A1 to pass you the ball. M1's coming to the middle, and you're cutting to the crease. Far diagonal mid, he's cutting to the crease. He can roll back and play a two game with A2. Or you can move the ball there, move the ball there, dodge hard to the left. Finally, our ice plays. If I call ice four, it means we want at the four spot, which is up here where A2 is, to come with the ball. And it's actually, these guys should be switched. Okay. So the midi, the attackman setting a pick right about there, and the midi is coming off that pick trying to play two game. Sometimes getting the ball right back to A2 is a good move. Okay. Let's get rid of these lines. Let's talk about everything else. All right. So in this scenario, ice four, ice four. We want to dodge at four, come off the pick. This guy probably wants to stay there or fill a little to the left. This guy needs to be smart. This guy needs to be smart. This guy not as smart. He just follows as an outlet so he can roll back and hit him if he wants. M3, you're going to C curl early. Giving him this whole alley. Bam. Jason Shope, some of you big righties. Take it down that right-hand alley. It's going to be great. Fast guys. A3, you've got to make a decision. Are you open on the backside? If so, stay in front of the goal so that the pass can be made straight across. And you got a shot lower corner or wherever. As long as you score, I don't care. However, if M2 throws the ball to A1, you need to decide now. Do I come down so that A1 can pass me the ball and I can dodge? Do I set a pick for A through A1? Or do I clear through and let A1 take it? That's where you guys just playing together for a while will get to learn each other's moves. Okay? So an ice play is the same thing at ice three. If I call an ice one, that means I want to dodge from the one spot, which means the midi is the one setting the pick at this point. Okay? Think about our rules. If the midi is setting a pick here, he's coming off. It makes no sense for this guy to come out this way, right? So don't do that. You might want to even cut down in a way to give this guy a full lane. See how that works? So start yourself up high, but cut low. You might be open. M2, you're going to kind of shade in this area. A2, you're going to be in a shooting lane. If A3 rolls back, maybe M1 rolls off the pick. A3 hits M1, it's not there. He passes to A1, what's going to happen? You can set a pick, you can clear through, or you can just clear through this way, but you're giving him that lane, or you're playing a two-on-one game right here. You've got to make that decision. He starts to drive, you start to drift up. All right? That's a video. I know it's a lot. Um, hopefully you'll be able to understand it. Maybe if you have your packet in front of you, it'll be good. But good luck. 
I'll post this on Huddle now.